There are plenty of very in-depth detailed tutorials on how to use the Thinkorswim brokerage and all that's fine and dandy. But what do you want to do? You want to get in and see stock information in real time. You want to be able to buy and sell shares of stock. This video, I'm going to do my best to keep it around 10 minutes, should be able to give you that intro, should be able to get you from not even having it downloaded to buying and trading stocks inside or think or swim as simply as possible. Hit like if you enjoy, subscribe if you're new. In the vein of keeping it short, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, think or swim is a, I say obviously, think or swim is a active trade software from TD Ameritrade. I believe it's actually from Schwab now. They haven't quite made the official switch over yet, but TD Ameritrade is now owned by Schwab. Anyway, I will link this in the description down below. The first step, obviously you have to open a brokerage account with TDA or Schwab, like I said, um, and then you have to download Thinkorswim for the desktop. That's the first obvious step. Links in the description down below. Now, if I go over, yes, I have a very cool background for a 12 year old. I know, thank you, you don't have to tell me. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna open my Thinkorswim app. So while I'm opening it here, uh, I'm going to show you something on this modal before you even get started. So before you ever even log in with the username and password that you create through your brokerage account to log into the active trade software, you're gonna hit this settings cog here in the bottom left and the memory usage is set default to the smallest min and max. This is deciding how much random access memory, how much RAM, from your hardware that thinkorswim is going to utilize once again both the min and the max and you want to turn this up the minimum setting is really low and and your machine can probably handle better now i have 32 gigs of ram in my machine but i also stream my trading every day for free live over on twitch you should go give my twitch account to follow plug um so i have to you know i have to turn it down a little bit for that if i didn't if i wasn't doing that i could probably turn it up even more uh, but what you're going to want to do when you sign in uh, I'm trying to talk and remember my password. When you sign in, just go ahead and throw up your, your task manager and just look at how much memory Thinkorswim is using. You want that initial setting, those RAM settings, turned up to as high as possible. That doesn't bog down your machine, right? So one, when you get logged in, when you start messing with that setting, open up your task manager, control shift escape, I just hit. It is control shift escape, right? I believe that was the hotkey. I usually just do it in my head. And just make sure that what if, you know, if if not enough RAM is being used, you can turn it up even more. If, if too much is being used, you can turn it down. But that's the first kind of tidbit and step getting into this. You want your thinkorswim to run as smooth as possible. That's the first step I got for you. The second step I got for you, by the way, this is the chart you're going to see when you log in. You're going to go to setup up here in the top right. You all actually can't see that. I'm going to do my best to fix that right now here on the fly. This is a tutorial. I want you all to be able to see every button I hit. You hit setup up here in the top right, application settings, and then you're going to go to, um, uh, I believe it is active trader. It is not. Uh, let me make sure I find the correct place for you to go. Sorry. You go to system and you make sure you're going to want to set your quote speed to no delay. Because just as your random access memory setting is set to the lowest possible, your quote speed out of the box when you download Thinkorswim is also set to moderate. Don't ask me why they do this. I assume so that it's less server pool for them. But you want real time data. You don't want three second delay data. So make sure you go into setup. Uh, system and change your quote speed to no delay as well. So there you go. There's your first two. Even if you've been using Thinkorswim for a while, you might not have known about those two things and they're going to change your life. I promise you, you might have been on slowed down, less memory accessed, uh, not even real time data since you started. So you are now at your charts. You are now on your charts page. How you use this page Enter symbol up here in the top left. I'm not going to insult your intelligence too much with this video. It shouldn't be too complicated, but let's go ahead and look at SPY. So here you go. You have now typed in your first symbol. We are looking at the ETF of the S&P 500 from Spider SPY. Here's your chart. Here's what you're going to see. I'm not going to dive into too much of what a chart is now. Blah, 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 blah. We can figure that out later if you don't already know, but... The first thing you're going to want to do, so over here on the on the right side, and, and if you don't see this on the right side, I obviously already have Thinkorswim downloaded, so I tried to reset this to as default as possible, but I don't 
actually 100% know that this right bar is here. If it's not, click this box here uh, that denotes how many charts you have in your settings and click show sidebar and cells. That's how you make that show up if you all can't see it. So for now, you're seeing chart. Now, hey Trey, cool, you got me data. This is how I see data. This is how I see real-time data. Thank you very much. How do I trade stocks? There you go. You turn on the active trader window. Yes, I'm down $188 today. I, I tried to short spy, it bounced on me. You can laugh at me, it's fine. Um, but, but you hit the active trader window and this is gonna provide you with your buy buttons, your sell buttons. This is gonna look a little bit different than yours does out of default, but I'll show you how to change that in just a second. Um, it's gonna show you, this is really what you need. Honestly, this tool right here, probably why thinkorswim is the best free brokerage out there the the best free trading software out there active trader is really awesome and that allows you to do everything it allows you to see your pnl allows you to see your orders allows you to see a not fully in-depth level two but kind of a chain of what's going on here um, and how you can set this up the way i do i don't know exactly what buttons you're going to see here but if you go into configure buttons whatever you want if you want buy market sell market like i have uh, say i want to add buy the ask i can just go ahead and click on it here click add item and then this is just drag and droppable so maybe i want the option to buy to buy ask instead of just buy market bada bing bada boom it is there as well i don't want to mess my own charts up so i'm not going to do that um so that's that that's the active trader window you are now in you're now in thinkorswim and you're able to trade stocks you're able to buy and sell stocks and hopefully you're able to get this set up to whatever best fits your trading style right um Another couple of things. Time and sales is also here. You want to be able to see the entire what orders are going through at what time. By the way, now with real time data, since we got that first thing set up for you there, time and sales is there. You want to see news? Click on the live news. Now you have news down here. You're seeing, you know, you start to see everything that's coming on with this. So now you have access to Thinkorswim. You have access to the news. You have access to time and sales, and you know how to buy and sell stocks through Thinkorswim. The one other thing I'm going to show you to keep this as simple as possible is just your monitor window you click on this tab here this is where you see the trade you took today here is my short that i lost money on haha -ha, trade bad trader um <laughs> uh, but here's where you see all your orders this is obviously going to be a very important window for you as well so that's the video that's all i wanted to show you i'm keeping this short on purpose i'm gonna make more in-depth uh kind of tutorials on thinkorswim on this channel if you want them but i just wanted to get a video on the internet that's gonna get somebody from yo what the hell am i doing to all of a sudden you have real-time access to real data that's hopefully not laggy and you know how you can act on that data with your buy and sell buttons here inside of a brokerage did all that in less than eight minutes hopefully you enjoyed hopefully it helped teach you something please hit the like button if it did and if you want to learn more about thinkorswim or just trading in general or you want more transparency about me posting my losers uh go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below with that being said I'm going to go ahead and sign out of this video. I will catch you all in the next one.